Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a program that makes you create a username and password and then afterwards it makes you able to log in with the username and password you created. So this is kind of a follow up to the last video which I will put in the top corner somewhere right now and then you'll be able to watch that video if you haven't already and then you can come back to this one to learn what you actually have to do. So actually I'm going to run this program first and show you how it works and then uh, I'll run you through the program. So in the bottom we've got please input a username. So I'm going to just say A, B, C, D. Please input a password, one, two, three, four. And then it says, okay, now please enter your username that you, so I can change it to please enter your username that you've created just to make it clearer, but I'll do A, B, C, D. Enter your password, one, two, three, four. Correct login, you're now logged in. So let me show you how it works and show you how it knows what username and password you've entered. So in the first time we've got a function named register. That's simple enough declaring a function. Um, if you don't know any of this stuff, just go to my website in the description below and it'll show you all the videos that you need from the beginning until this level and then you'll know how to do it. So here we've got two variables, username and password. Just with an input, please enter a username and enter a password. And then this is the line you see at the bottom there that just separates it to make it easier. Now here, which we would have seen in the last video, this opens a file called accountfile.txt. Um, this just opens a file, um, a text file with the username and password. So it writes the username and then it has a space and then it writes the password to it. And then it's got a new line. So backslash n is a new line. Um, that's all you need to do for it, just backslash and then n and then that's new line, as long as it's in the uh, speech marks. And then you close the file. Now this is kind of working kind of weirdly. So this part's the actual part that's next to not this bit, I'll come back to that. So we've got another function login. Username equals input, please enter your username to log in just to make it clearer and enter password to log in. For line in open account file, blah, blah, blah. So this reads the lines of the account file and then it splits on the space and stores the results in a list of two strings. And then here you're comparing if the username is login info zero, which is the first one because in Python and I think programming in general, the zero is the first one, one is the second, uh, two is the third and so on. So if username equals login info zero, which will be the first one, and password equals login info one, which is the second, then the prints correct login because the first one is going to be the username because we're telling them to input that first. So if they're going to enter the username correctly, that's one thing done. And the password equals login info, then you print correct login and it returns true. If it doesn't, you can print correct login, return false. Here I didn't put else, I just moved it back for the for loop, but you can put you can indent it and put else if you want, it's just a different way of doing it. And then at the end, which is a very amateur mistake I made, but a very common mistake, I didn't forget, I forgot to call the functions earlier before when I was writing this program. But here, just make sure you call the function register, which is the first one, and login. So here, when I said we go back to it, it you are now logged in. So after you've made the login, you go, it says correct login, you are now logged in, as you can see. And then it prints that just to separate it. It just loops it around again. But yeah, that's basically it. And then here, you aren't logged in if you aren't logged in. Now, let me show you the text file. I've made these from before. So it runs the file and it makes a new line for each different username. So here I've got just other files I've made. So let's run this program and I'll show you that it's actually writing to this. So we're going to run it again, enter a username. Let's think of something creative this time. Let's just say, let's just say Lambo. Why not? Username, password, Lambo123. Now, please enter your username to log in. And as you can see, my username was Lambo. So I'm going to do that. Enter your password, Lambo123. Correct login, you are now logged in. So, yeah, I just had to exit out of it. And here's my password and username. Yeah, that's the basics of how to do it. So this would be useful if you're making like, like a quiz program 
where you have to have scores or anything like that saved in a file not necessarily a text file it can be any kind of file and then you're gonna have to access that information so there are quite a few ways to use it if you like this video make sure you leave a like and subscribe and if you want to find any more about programming the links to my facebook website and instagram down below where you can see more stuff that i post about